Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will learn higher order function. Uh, a function which is, which is having anonymous function as a parameter. When we pass a anonymous function in a function as parameter, so that function actually known as higher order function. So as we know, for every function, whatever parameter we are going to pass in that function, we need to first specify the type of that parameter. Now in this case the question is that what will be the type of anonymous function. So let's see a anonymous function example. Let's say I am having an anonymous function and this anonymous function return a string. So as you can see uh, here this function is not having any data type and it is returning a string type of data so if we want to tell the type of this anonymous function we can write in this format so in this side you need to specify what is the data type of parameter you are passing here and in this side you need to tell what is the data type uh, of data which is returned by the anonymous Function. So here if you can see it's returning a string and here we are not having any parameter. So in case uh, if you don't have any parameter you can use unit. So unit actually is used for null like we are not having any parameter. Now let's say we are having a anonymous function on this format so this anonymous function what it will do it will return addition of two numbers so in this case our type of anonymous function will be int int put in the braces in the previous case we yeah, also you need to use braces and return data type also it is Int. So this is the data type of this function. So here I am going to write a function. What that function will do? That function will take one anonymous function as a parameter. So let's define that function. I am going to name that function perform. And this function will going to take anonymous function of this type sorry this type so it will take two parameters and it will return a integer value so uh, in function let's say if this function is having a integer type of parameter so how are we going to write like uh, f and then int so first we write the name that is the placeholder where the value will be stored and then the data type so in this case also we are going to do the same thing name value because every anonymous function actually you can say instantiated as a object so that object will be stored in this f so here f and then type of this f so type will be int int and then if you want to pass any parameter you can pass but let's say we are not going to pass any parameter and inside this function what we will do as we can see this f is having a value of this one this f is representing your object and that object can call this anonymous function so let's call this function on two values 12 and 23 and here what we will do we will call this perform function and in this perform function we need to pass a anonymous function what is the type of anonymous function a anonymous function which take Two parameter and return a integer type of value so here we are going to write our anonymous function and what this function will do this function will return let's say multiplication of those two numbers and here let's print this value so uh, what we have done we have defined a function this function is saying that it needs 
one parameter of type this one so this is an anonymous function with two parameter and return type integer and inside this one we will call that anonymous function because that function is actually stored in this object so we, with the help of this object we will call this anonymous function and in the main function we are calling this perform and at the place of parameter we are passing a anonymous function so this function will take two values and it will return the multiplication of those two numbers so it is fulfilling this type two parameters integer integer data type and the return type also int so now let's see the output compile this program and run it so if you can see uh, it actually returning the multiplication now let's say if I am uh, changing this one to x minus y so now it's returning the subtraction if I am changing this one compile and then run it so now it's returning the summation so the thing is that we can change the logic at the time of passing argument whatever logic you want in your function you can specify that logic here and it will be changed okay so this is a simple example of higher order function thank you very much for watching